Hello guys, uh, very good evening. Welcome back to another session of Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis. So if you look at both Bank Nifty and Nifty, both have closed where the prices have opened. Bank Nifty itself has opened at uh, 53,389 and it has closed around 53,391. So more or less at the same point, forming a dozy. Again, coming to Nifty futures, uh, Nifty has opened at 25,990 futures and it has closed around 25,976. So Nifty also it's dozy with the equal side rejection. These dozies generally indicate indecisiveness in the market. Most often these kind of dozies tell us that there might be a reversal in the very short term. So let's analyze using market profile and order flow what these tools are telling us. So coming to Nifty. So I'm just enabling both the Nifty market profile and order flow. So if you have gone through my yesterday's video, I was stressing if at all there is going to be a flat opening within the value. There is a good possibility Nifty might go for these single prints. As Nifty came down again at the low, there was a strong passive wire of 1.8k. So the low itself, if you look at in market profile, is at the exactly value area of uh, exactly value area of uh, Wednesday last 25th, which I also have mentioned in my yesterday's video so that passive buyer stopped the down move and strong buying imbalance are there all the way in the last three candles leading up to a strong up move now the prices have closed below the volume clusters in the first 30 minutes and above the volume clusters and above this passive buyer in the third candle so it was a clear sideway market unless the market escapes these areas with a good delta and a clean candle and the total value itself is overlapping with yesterday's value so this overlapping value indicates that there is not much of strong conviction among sellers for 3rd october which is weekly expiry what we should be looking is how the price reacts in the first 30 minutes and one hour so if at all there is going to be a flat opening look for a clean close above or below these uh, volume clusters might lead to a up move all the way down to again all the way up to 26,000 on the upper side and the value area high itself is at 26,130 level close below the 25,890 levels so should take nifty to all the way down to 25,860 levels for any further down move there is a good amount of gap this gap itself is very strong so you should be very careful if you want to short around these gaps these gaps acts as a very strong imbalance areas so think of these gaps as invisible candles prices needs to get accepted below 25,765 levels any acceptance below this should take nifty down to 25,586 on the same day itself so there was a strong seller who have hammered down nifty on 20th so he might uh, take uh, control so unless that happens i think uh, you can be pretty sure that uh, reversal is there let's say nifty gaps up because of uh, overall global sentiment being positive about 26,180 levels the single print whatever is there and value area high 26,135 levels they act as good support so look for acceptance for any kind of down move below 26,090 levels if at all there is going to be a strong gap up so this is with nifty guys so before going into bank nifty if you are looking for live market updates you can join my telegram channel which I am attaching in the description or if you are keen on learning this advanced order flow and market profile chart you can go through the playlist which I am attaching at the end so coming to bank nifty guys what happened just below yesterday's value area bank nifty has opened but then again immediately it has covered more or less whole value area of yesterday but then if first 30 minutes have closed below the volume clusters and COT so that indicates that despite of delta being 3.2k they are failing buyers are not very successful in holding the prices above these volume clusters levels so there was a strong down move but at the same time down move itself has faced good amounts of support around value area low of last before friday whole day prices were spending within the first one and a half hour and forming a very strong sideway market just like nifty but here the thing is the low itself in bank nifty is poor low so 
this indicates that the till the day's high is intact on 30 minutes basis there is a good possibility if bank nifty might get revisited towards this low so what we should be looking for thursday is whether the prices sustains above this value area 53008 23 is the value area low from uh, last monday but uh, look few points above this suppose 53,830 to 850 levels. If Bank Nifty sustains above these levels in futures, you will see easily 54,100 level. And if at all Bank Nifty sustains again inside this value area of 54,175 levels, you will see again 54,300 levels, which is a single print which has formed on last friday suppose let's say there is going to be a strong gap down all the way below this uh, today's low then you should be looking for whether the prices gets accepted below 53150 or not if for a acceptance below 53150 you will see 52990 levels as first target and you will also see 52805 as second target third target will be 52,600 levels so this is the third target flat opening that is going to be uh, very tricky guys so you be prepared for that for valuable market insight deliver straight to you be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell below to stay informed thank you guys have a nice day